We are in downtown Higginsville, uh, aiming the iPad uh, up Fairground Avenue. Fairground is uh, the main street. You come in on Business 13, uh, from 13 Highway, you'll come in on Fairground Avenue, past Fairground Park, past what used to be um, Dog and Suds. It's no longer Dog and Suds, of course, because they can't leave anything alone. Uh, in the center of the frame, I want to point out something that a friend uh, mentioned to me and reminded me I should visit, and that is uh, Schaefer's Crazy Cone. Uh, you go to Schaefer's Crazy Cone, you can get uh, you can get a hot dog, a burger, ice cream, a tune-up, set of snow tires, an alignment, uh, auto repairs, all in one stop. It's your one-stop shop for lunch. And, uh, and a tune-up. Schaefer Crazy Cone. I recommend it. Coming on down the street, uh, we get to the corner. There was a Fena station there. And uh, it's not there any longer. And this is Main Street. Uh, headed south into a residential part of town. And uh, this uh, Main Street, if you go to the end of it, you get to the street where I grew up. Uh, to the right, I want to point out uh, what used to be the APCO station. They tore it down, of course, because they can't leave anything alone. Uh, but it was a cool little station. It was one of those little center block, uh, small one-room deals with maybe two gas pumps out front, and I love the old APCO station. And um, another reason I was interested in it is because it sat across the street from First Baptist Church, which was my church, and now I'm showing it to you. Uh, it's a vacant lot, you know, it's got some nice grass on it, nice sidewalk still here. Uh, but the church uh, moved out on Peach, so they tore down the old one. They salvaged a few of the wonderful stained glass windows from that church and uh, put one of them in the foyer of the new church. It's nice that they did that. And I just want to show you the sidewalk uh, where the uh, deacons between Sunday school and church would... Uh, come outside and lean against the side of the church and have a smoke. My dad included. He was uh, head deacon for many years. He used to smoke luckies. I think the other guys uh, lean toward camels or kents maybe. But uh, yeah, right there. I just wanted to document that. Now we're going to uh, cross 22nd and head to the Higginsville Depot. This is now the home of the Harvey Higgins uh, historical Society or Association, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on the name of it. Harvey Higgins was the founder of Higginsville, and this is the historic railroad depot that sat originally, I think it was probably the Chicago and Alton line. Later, um, I think was uh, Illinois Central, maybe, and currently is Kansas City Southern. I wanted to mention that Gene Clark recorded a couple of fantastic renditions of the song Kansas City Southern and I, f I recommend it. One of them is on a Dillard and Clark album and the other is on a live album uh, set that he and some guys did in a bar in Denver I think in 74, 75 and uh, so there's a live version of Kansas City Southern and I uh, recommend playing it and cranking it when you do. Anyway, the tracks here currently are Kansas City Southern and I want to show you a few things about the depot. Just beyond the depot, you can see the corner of the building there, beige color, uh, is the bowling alley. When I was a kid, my parents were in a mixed league, bowling league, played on, holy moly, I walked in a hole, uh, played on a Friday night league, and the kids would go running around downtown Higginsville at night, and that was a lot of fun, and that platform you see uh, on this side of the depot is where we would sit and talk and wait for a train to come by. And before the train got there, we would lay pennies on the rails, and then the train would roar by, and we'd be on that platform, I'm telling you. It would blow you back against the side of the depot. And then train would pass, and we'd go out and hunt for the flattened out pennies, and usually we would find them, not always, because the train wheels would toss them off to the side. They'd be down in the rocks and things. And that was a lot of fun. I'm just uh, mentioning that to say that uh, when you were a kid in Higginsville, you found your fun where you could find it, and that was one of the best. 